This video is going to be a quick video about going to a manual transmission with the Cadillac 472 500. None of the cars from the factory ever had a manual transmission. So you're going to have to convert some things to make this work. The first thing you're going to need is a flywheel. And the flywheel is unique to the Cadillac. Uh, the center hole here is big. The bolt pattern is unique to Cadillac. This one I brought from CMD back in the 90s, but CADCO sells one that's a bolt-in, has the correct center hole, has the correct bolt patterns, and will bolt right onto the end of the crankshaft. That gets the flywheel done. If you really feel like you want to make someone or trying to, to do it on a budget, the only thing that's close is a Pontiac. It's 166 tooth like the Cadillac, but the center hole is smaller and the bolt pattern is wrong. So you're going to have to precision machine both of those. So in my opinion, you're really better off just buying a flywheel ready to go than, than trying to make one work. The next step is the support for the end of the input shaft of the tranny. Now there's a pilot bushing that goes into the end of the crankshaft and that supports the, the little knob on the end of the input shaft of the transmission. That way you have support both sides, uh, the input bearing on the transmission and the engine side with the, with the bushing. Now the old way was to take the whole motor apart, precision machine a hole in here, put a Chevy bushing into it that only sticks halfway in because you can't go that far deep, it winds up too deep. So you only wind up machining so half of this sticks in and half of it's unsupported and it's precision machined whole and that's a terrible idea. I just converted this one. This motor is fully assembled and yes, there's a hole in there. And I used a hand drill. And I'm sure you're thinking, oh my God, it's a precision hole. And it's not. What I'm going to use is a bushing made specifically for the Cadillac. And this bushing centers on the, the factory machined surface for the torque converter. And so once you got this in there, it's centered on this. This hole that I've drilled back in there using just a hand drill is strictly clearance. So if the nub sticks beyond the pilot bushing, it won't bottom out on the crankshaft. Now, you could technically cut the nub down a little bit if you wanted to, but I don't like that idea. And it's easy enough to just drill a bit of a clearance hole. The factory has a taper in here from where they machined all this in the first place. And so it's, it automatically centers the drill bit and you just trying to drill some clearance. You don't you don't want to go clear through the crank, but you're just a couple hundred thousands. So I, I pre-measured everything I did and set a depth mic so that I could figure out how far I needed to drill. And once I got that far, I stopped drilling. And that will ensure that the input shaft doesn't touch uh, the crankshaft and bind up on the input shaft and I have room for everything to fit in there and float like it should. Now, if you're going to use a BOP bell housing, this is very critical because the input shaft is going to be long. Uh, the, if you're using a Chevy conversion plate, that's like 5 16 or maybe 3 8 thick at the, the uh, bell housing. And that's going to push you back a little bit. So you don't have to make this hole quite as deep. Uh, it, in that case, you can measure and, and probably quickly do a hole. Now, I have done this underneath the car uh, without pulling the engine out. And I've done it on several motors like this one where the engine isn't coming apart. I'm just drilling it. So it makes it way easy by having this bushing that just goes in on the the hard part and the taper fits back into the taper that's in the crankshaft itself. 
So once I get this done, I just drive this, this into the crankshaft and I'm good to go. Now the only other thing you need to be aware of is you are going to need a longer bolt. The flywheel is about 200 thousandths thicker than a flex plate. And so the factory bolt is uh, half inch long. So, I mean, this one I think is an inch long, but you need at least something that's three quarters of an inch long so you, ha you have full thread engagement. And that way, once you get it all together, it'll just bolt up and you can have the fun of shifting with all the torque of a Cadillac. So anyway, it's easy to do and you don't need to do any special machining and you can even do it under the car. I have done it. So good luck with going manual. It sure is fun to shift a, a motor that's got this much torque. So talk to you later. Bye.